I'm Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and in this video what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to live stream both to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Those are really the two main giants for live streaming. They're both free and it's really easy to send two live streams uh, at the same time uh, from your computer. Now uh, it does take a little bit of processing power and in our last video which is playing behind me we talked about how to live stream from Facebook. So if you haven't watched that video and you're not sure how to do that yet go back to our next video we'll put it in the description um, but we're gonna jump right to the end of that video pick up where we left off and show you know how to start live streaming directly from Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So just to quickly recap um, I'm going to go over uh, just a few quick things here. One is obviously live streaming on Facebook. There's two ways to do it. You can just use your phone, uh, but that's really kind of not a professional way to do it. Um, the other way is to go into publishing tools, which we talked about in our last video, and get the RTMP information. And that's what we're going to show in this video. There's this new video tab where you can get that. And once you have that information, then you can start streaming both to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So that's what we're going to show off today. Um, and it's going to be really cool. Um, there's two different ways to live stream on YouTube. Um, one is you can live stream directly to um, your like live streaming page where it's always live at this one page and the other way is you can schedule pre-schedule events so that both of them really give you an RTMP um, event uh, or link the difference is is that your live streaming uh, always on event is you know the, always the same key and when you schedule an event they always give you a different key so just be careful with that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys to um, my desktop capture here and so this is going to show you this is where you can do live um, videos on on Facebook so we kind of skipped all of the how to get here and you basically get your RTMP information and your stream key same thing for YouTube so you can either do the stream now and that this RTMP information will never change this is like your RTMP information and then in the events tab you can actually get your custom RTMP information um, for each event. But for this, we're just going to show uh, live streaming now, um, I suppose. So what you would do is you would copy this information from both Facebook and from um, YouTube, and you'd, you'd copy them both. And what you would do is I'm going to go into a desktop capture here now. Um, and you would pull up your streaming information. Now I'm using vMix as you can see here, but you can also use um, like TriCaster, you can use Wirecast, you can use VidBlaster. There's a lot of different ways you can use it. And almost all of them today support simultaneously streaming to multiple outputs. So I've already got my Facebook information in here, right? And here is um, my second destination. So you can see here we can actually just put uh, the information there. They've actually got YouTube Live already keyed in, so all you need is your key. Um, now this will go directly to your live event page. If it's a scheduled page, you would want to use the custom. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Here, copy that in. Paste it there. Take my stream key. Copy that in. And, oh, it's not my stream key. Copy that stream key there. Come on. Oh, didn't want to. Okay. And I'm not going to copy that in because I do need to keep that private. Um, that's my private stream key. So, that is how you do it. And then you would click start. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to notify all of my followers and subscribers um, that a live stream is going on that, that is already over. So I'm just going to save and close, but that would be how you would do it. So um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, it's very simp uh, straightforward. And these are the two main you know, platforms for live streaming, I, I believe, that will be in the future. It'll be YouTube and Facebook. Now, there's other ones out there, and there's even soft, uh, software you can use to restream to multiple uh, 
uh, CDNs, like six up to six to eight of them, such as Joycaster and Restream.io. But I think that these two are really the bread and butter of what we're going to see in the future. So I wanted to make a quick video to show how to do that. Thanks for watching, everybody.